the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Monaco against Gazalek Ajaxia. Well, I'm Peter Drury and I'm joined in the commentary box by the familiar figure of Jim Beglin. Thanks, Peter. It's a pleasure and a privilege for me to be here. We have already started. Goes for goal! Ah, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Has a hit! There it is! Listen, the big names earn their reputations for precisely the reason we've just seen. They have a habit of making their presence felt, and here we are, early stages. He struck one, and he looks hungry for more. The purest possible contact. What a fabulous strike. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. Monaco ahead. One goal to the good. to get it forward quickly where to from here dinks one in that intervention was very necessary Monaco were imperious when the two going for goal Falcao explosive hot knife through butter they have done it again pretty simple finish in the end what do you think Jim it's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they've paid the price and deserve to. Monaco take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Falcao goes wandering offside. He may have been caught offside, but Falcao may have been born offside, but he'll continue playing on the shoulder of the last defender, I can tell you. And it's Falcao. Van Nistelrooy! More and more and more and more! Then... And the first 45 minutes are up. Well, there's plenty that can be said about the last 45 minutes, but one thing that cannot be said is that it's dull. One-sided, yes, but packed with excitement. Peter, do I really need to say anything, or can I simply refer you to the scoreline? Monaco are cruising it at half-time, 3-0 ahead. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Slightly better ball would have led to a very different outcome there. Look, the game is full of ifs and buts. If only the, the pass could have completed its journey. It's Falcao! Oh, top draw save from the keeper. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind. Um, I don't think he knew either. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. How about a third? a waste well the control on receipt was far better than the control on dispatch it so nearly came off for him well Peter I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there Gazalek Ajaxio seek a performance here which reflects rather better on the boss he's taken a fair amount of criticism in the wake of the last game yeah but he brought the crit up he gets he's kept it out just That'll go straight through to the keeper. Falcao. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Gets it upfield. Looks to slip it through. Keeper goes long. Lalana battles to win it back. 
This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frightened of people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. And Mr. Roy. The final whistle. Monaco have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Soaking up the pre-match atmosphere here as we wait for things to get started. Won't be long now before we get through the formalities. A warm welcome one and all. The teams then, Monaco against Manchester. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hi Peter, always good to work with you. I'm really looking forward to this now. And if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Big chance! Lilana, now it's Falcao, now it's Rooney, we still have a tip! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Come back to the keeper, gets it upfield, and it's Jesus Gámez, gets into some space. And he has been fouled there. And it's Bernardo Silva. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Well, Cow clips one through. Gundogan. Blint. That's a throw. Blint. Ward Prowse plays it. For it's Shakiri. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. Almost the perfect move. Almost. The finish just wasn't quite at the same level. Valcao plays it wide. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Lalana. That's clear cut. It's a free kick. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Keeper's got good distance on that. And the referee brings the first half to a close. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Well, it's become an exercise in, in preservation, Peter. I think it's been a much more even affair and there's no need for them to take any unnecessary risks. 
they look happy to frustrate and contain and, and just wait for a chance now. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil. Second half gets on the way. Monaco can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. From the one, looks to dink one in. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to re Great lead! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. Floats one over. And it's the goalkeeper's to claim. And it's Bernardo Silva. Forward it goes. He's left his man. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Broken. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Changes on both sides actually. Monaco take the lead, landing the first significant blow in what is certainly a significant contest. That's gone a long way up and away. Chip up for the header. They've scored! Two up now, and they are cruising. What a great header, got plenty on that. I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved, he gave it everything he had. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. then in quick succession well for me this was the obvious substitution he'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that he was most likely to make a mistake I think sometimes when the body becomes tired the brain goes with it and I think that's how it's Goretzka and he's there to make a great save the keeper really dug out his defense then a magnificent effort oh he ripped 
The final whistle. Victory in round one. Still plenty to do, but the job is starting. Your final thoughts, Jim? Monaco were very impressive here, Peter. The backbone of this team is so strong and it proved to be the decisive area.